Oh no! Chinese EVs are under attack! November delivery numbers are out, but unfortunately they came with some nasty bad news. Are NEO and Xpeng still 10x stocks in 5 years? It's Marco here and welcome back to All About EVs analysis and news on all EV stocks. So I recommended NEO and Xpeng few months ago and to all my subscribers who bought in with me, you are still sitting on more than 100% gain. But then this happened. We just want Chinese companies to play by the same rules as everybody else. Everybody else. Everybody else. So right now, uh, to be on the exchange, uh, you have to open your books uh, to an inspection by the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, PCAOB. Uh, China has refused um, to allow its companies to be scrutinized uh, the way companies around the rest of the world are scrutinized. Uh, and that exposes uh, American investors to unnecessary risk. And so the news hit the newspapers. But is the dream over? Watch out, because what's coming is gonna blow your mind. So for starters, this whole mess comes from Chinese companies not being audited in accordance to the US regulation. And so this opens up to four scenarios. In the first scenario, the bill gets scrapped and the price of NEO, XPeng and all other Chinese companies goes to the moon. The latest update on the bill is that it needs to be approved by the Senate in May. And so there are still a few months to go before we get an answer. And I'll make sure to make a video update when some good news or some any news on the bill come out. But overall, I think that this scenario is quite unlikely to happen and I would give it 20% chance of this happening. And now there is the bad case scenario, but buckle down because this is not going to be nice. Second scenario, the bill gets approved and all the Chinese companies get delisted. And that's where things get real. NEO and XPeng shareholders like myself would lose all their money. This is incredibly unlikely and I would give it just a 5% chance of this happening and that is based on the following reason. This whole debacle is based on the way Chinese companies are audited. And so each Chinese company has got a different auditor. And I've dug down on it because I wanted to be sure that NEO and XPeng would actually be affected by this build. And so it turns out that NEO and XPeng are audited by a company that is audited themselves by the PCAOB. And so the PCAOB is a company that audits other auditing companies. That's the requirement that is needed to be listed in the US stock market. And so it seems that NEO and XPeng are actually already compliant with the current regulation. And so this bill should not apply to NEO and XPeng. Now, two things need to be said. I am just a YouTuber and I've done my own due diligence and I've come to this conclusion. But there is the need for someone more knowledgeable to come out with news and put it on a big newspaper for everyone to see. And the second one is that there may be some additional requirements that I haven't taken into account or they haven't been made public yet. And so as I get updates on the matter, I will make sure to make a video update on it. Moving on to the fourth scenario that I see possible is that this bill does not apply as soon as it gets approved, but there are three years between approval and actual application of the law. And so what I see happening is that the US would have an agreement with China and this agreement would actually just solve the issue between Chinese companies and the US stock exchange. This is to me the most likely scenario and also based on the fact that three years is a lot of time to find an agreement. But hold on because we are gonna move on to the part where I talk about delivery numbers and I know that many of you are here for that. Now I've got data for NEO, 
Leoto and Xpeng. So starting from NIO, they delivered 5% more vehicle in November compared to October. This is unfortunately the worst of the bunch. Because moving on to Li Auto, they have delivered 4,646 vehicles in the month of November. That is an increase of 26% from October. That's an incredible increase. But that's where things get very interesting. You see, the third one that I haven't talked about is Xpeng, and they have delivered the highest increase of the three. With a 39% increase month on month, they show that they could grow even further and in the month of November, they destroyed sales with a whopping 4,224 units sold. And so from a ramp up point of view, we see that Lee Auto has increased by 147% from January. And that is based on the fact that Lee Auto was actually selling a decent amount in January this year. Second in this list is Neo with an increase of 231%. But then, in first position, with the highest increase of all based on the sales in January, it's Xpeng with 570% increase. And so I'm still bullish on NEO and Xpeng for the long term. In terms of short term, NEO is approaching NEO Day, which is in January next year. And two main things will happen on NEO Day. The first one will be the release of a new sedan model, which I talked about in my previous video. And also the release of NP2, which is a long awaited upgrade of the autonomous driving system that NEO cars are using now. And so from a stock price perspective, both NEO and Xpeng are just waiting for good news on this bill to come out. And as soon as that happens, the stock price will explode and go through the roof. And I will make sure to make a video update on both NEO and Xpeng and also when other news on all EVs come out. And I'm also big on American EVs. So if you're looking for an EV stock that is about to explode, consider Hylian. The video on the screen right now is about three secret reasons to be bullish on Hylian. Pick an explosive stock. Click on the video.